Good evening and welcome back to Beerich. I am back from Dubai for a week where Vinod has been holding fort on his own. So I thought I would join him today and Shashwat has taken the day off because he is visiting a dentist and he is back. So I have decided to come on Beerich after some time. Recently a, an article came which was very interesting to me. This was about how in Sweden yes, suddenly there was a big spike in inflation 7.9%. And it was all attributed to one particular event. This was an outlier. In a country where there are very few people like Sweden, which is aging and declining, the one single event can affect the economy of a country, can be explained with this phenomenon. This is also equally true like the chaos theory, where a flapping of a butterfly at one portion, one side of the world, can cause a storm on the other side. Let's look at this event. First, let's understand Sweden. Sweden is a Scandinavian country, high on social security, very high taxes and a country which is aging very rapidly. And so the whole thing is settled. There are no sudden spikes up and down in inflation, especially in services. Inflation is normally due to lack of labor or sudden spikes in commodity prices. Otherwise, Sweden is a very stable country and the Swedish corner has been very stable. But Suddenly, a big spike caused an alarm bells to ring all around the world. And then economists looked at it and they concluded it is because of one particular event. What was the event? The event was Beyonce, who in seven years did her first world live tour. So, and she did two nights in Sweden. And about 50,000 people landed into the capital of Sweden to make sure that event was a success. Now, Sweden does not expect 50,000 people to land up in a single two days. Sweden does not expect for that 50,000 people land up for two nights and disperse later. Its infrastructure in terms of hotel and boarding and lodging is simply not here to meet up such an event. So when 46,000 people, most of them from outside Sweden, from as far as Australia, land up on that planet and the prices of hotels Prices of uh, flats in Airbnb and everything went through the roof. The prices of hotel food and everything went through the roof. And that single event caused a major spike in inflation, according to several economists. And this is the beginning of the world tour. Some people expect by the time she finishes in September, the entire tour would have cost her the world $2 billion extra in terms of hotel and boarding and lodging and airfare. People who had the misfortune of going to Paris this weekend would have been stuck in the airport for hours on together because of two reasons. One, an unexpected strike in Paris airport and another, an event in which the minority of North African descent was shot by the police in Paris burning. Correct. So, while we tend, uh, traditionally tend to look at economics, as a macro policy, there are some extraneous events like Beyonce's tour and travel and the shooting of that minority kid in Paris, totally unjustifiable, which can have unintended consequences, which means there's a spike in services costs. Normally, traditionally, long in most of the world, we never measured services. We measured only inflation as a part of goods. But services as a percentage of our economy has gone up and there we need to measure it. This has led to a spike and it is a very interesting thing. I thought I'll pick Vinod's brain on that. As Anand was talking about the story, it reminded me of the story of Mansa Musa, the famous Mali ruler who did the Hajj pilgrim way back, thousands of years back, where he went from, not thousands of years, hundreds of years back, where he went from Mali to Mecca on a Hajj. And at the time, Mali was the gold capital of the world. And this man alone took huge caravans of gold. And he went to Cairo and he went to Mecca and Medina. On his trail, wherever he was going, he was distributing gold freely to everywhere. And he was giving charitable gold, being a Muslim, to trust. He sent the world sending on a hyperinflation. In Cairo and Mecca and Medina went on hyperinflation. It took 10 years for that inflation to cool off. So what Anand says is absolutely true. We have seen in history where economic circumstances can change dramatically on one single event. A single event, something which can be as simple as some guy visiting, a king visiting the city, or like in this case, Beyonce making a concert in a city. 
can lead to economic catastrophe for the residents of that area. No, it lifts up the economy and it just drops off. Like if you have seen Qatar, Qatar had no business hosting the World Cup. True. And uh, the amount of stadiums they built and infrastructure I am sure has gone waste because I have been to Qatar. True. It's an empty island now that the World Cup is over. Very true. And now they are saying they are going to dismantle the stadium and send it to Africa. Yes. But it was an absolute unwanted waste of, criminal waste of money, yes. according to me. And uh, nothing came out of it, except the fact that the residents of Qatar were put to a lot of hardship and uh, I'm sure prices of hotels and restaurants went up in that period. And the fact that it's a very close state, nothing much came out of it. Sweden being an open economy, we tend to know exactly what happened. And Beyonce is moving to Aberdeen or Scotland for an event and the prices there have also shot up. So, and uh, why I am talking about this is the World Cup caravan is moving to India this year and it is going to 10 cities. Sure. I am sure like there will be a big spike in demand for tickets, hotels and everything on the day of the major clashes, especially where the India matches are there or where the Pakistan matches are there. Definitely, there is going to be a big spike in interest. Correct. And this happened just recently in the Chennai Super Kings match, which rained out and the match got postponed by a day. Because of that postponement of a day, the amount of people who were staying back in that city had to look for the hotels and the flight tickets all being rechanged, rebooked. It sent a sudden spike in the aircraft prices. The hotel prices for that night in that city just went through the roof because of just the same reason what you said. One event and the influx of people coming in into that city causes this. But I feel it is not a good story for people who live in that city. It's very difficult. And you've seen this throughout cities in uh, Europe where prices of uh, residents, local residents being pushed out, like Venice very famously in Italy. The local residents can't live in Venice anymore because of the tourism industry pushing the prices, living prices so high. And uh, in closer to home, then Goer went kaput. The busy sector between Bombay and Delhi, the flight saw a one-way spike up to beyond 20,000 rupees in an economy class. It was cheaper for me to fly from Madras to Singapore than for people to fly from Bombay to Delhi. True. So what we have to do is we have to, when we talk about inflation, strip out these one-time events and we'll look at the big picture. True. So the ability to differentiate between a one-time spike and the fact that is, this is a genuine problem is what makes difference, uh, what differentiates between an investor and a speculator or a naive investor who gets sucked in. Thank you for watching Village. I hope you enjoyed this nugget of information that we gave you today. If you did like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell notification. If you have done all of the above, I suggest you send this video to your friends and relatives and have them take a look. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. I am in Tokyo on work on the 5th of August 2023. I have a lot of following in Japan, Tokyo. Those who want to meet me in Tokyo on 5th of August, kindly drop me an email on the address given below or contact us on WhatsApp there. My team would get in touch with you and facilitate the meeting. Once again, I thank you for your support for Be Rich. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to berichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.